the one and only is in the building so we have uh both black history and a medical and medical history joining us in the studio dr hydea nicole green and uh listen man is one of the first african-american women to earn a phd in physics even bigger than that she is the first person to successfully cure cancer in mice using laser technology how did you wow big round of applause come y'all on, come man. on wow. How did you, and may, make sure you get some good shots. Man, how did you do that? How did you pull that off? Well, first, let me say good morning. Ricky Smiley, it is such a pleasure to be here. I am so excited and so honored to be here. And I'm happy to have you. Yes, and I want to give a shout out to Pastor Freddie Haynes and all my sorrows who made this happen. Yeah. This morning. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how, how? So. My journey is an interesting one, and I'll share it with you really quickly. My aunt and uncle were the only parents I knew. My mom passed when I was 18 months. I didn't know my father. My grandparents both passed in the same year when I was four. So my aunt and uncle took my brothers and I in, and they were my parents. Wow. I was the first in my family to go to college. I went to Alabama A&M University. Alabama right. A&M. Right. A&M. Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out A&M. to AM. They, they, my first gig was in Bill Gray's Hall. <laughs> Trust me, I did Delta Week. So shout out to Tawanda, Washington, in DC, Alabama AM Delta, who had me come up there and do Delta Week. Yes. So that was my first gig, paid me $400. I'll never forget it. So, while Tawanda was, Amos, now go ahead. While I was there, you are a living legend. Is what can come out of an HBCU, even though you went to Alabama State. Don't, they, 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 listen, they listening in the gun. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they listening. It, it, you have been such an inspiration. And I want to thank you for being a trailblazer out of an HBCU and always thank repping. Thank you. I appreciate yes, that. Yes. I, I love you for that. that. Yes. Great great memories from, from the hill. Yes. The Dust of Dawn parties. Homecoming. Oh. Don't don't get me started. <laughs> I partied on the hill. Okay. So so how did you come up with like so my journey, yes. I um, interned at NASA, University of Rochester Institute of Optics, and I was graduating, graduated with a 4.0 in physics. Ooh. Wow. After serving as a year as Miss Alabama A&M University. What? And the day after graduation, my aunt announced that she had what she referred to as woman's cancer. Right. And that she would rather die than experience the side effects of chemo and radiation. I was her oh, primary no. caregiver, and I watched her go from being this powerful matriarch, the cooker of Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners, this church going praying woman of God, to somebody who couldn't walk, talk, speak, cook, eat, take care of herself at all. Mm. I watched cancer eat her from the inside out. Mm. Three months later, my uncle who raised me was diagnosed with cancer. I was his primary caregiver while he was going through chemo. I watched him lose 150 pounds, all of his hair, all of his eyelashes, his fingernails turned black. His beautiful chocolate skin looked like it had been barbecued. Wow. Mm. And I said, there has to be a better way. And I couldn't save my loved ones from cancer, but I dedicated my life so nobody else would have to go through what my family went through. Wow. All right, y'all, listen, man. Wow. Uh, man. Listen, we, we got Dr. Ooh. Hydea Nicole, boy, this is a good one right here. Mm-hmm. We might have to stop the whole show today. Uh, I don't even care about no music. What, what we got out there today? Uh, uh, we, what? Yeah. All right. L- listen, uh, we got more with Dr. Green. We, we'll just 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 figure it out. Uh, I, I really want to have this conversation. Uh, the music don't even matter at this point. Uh, we're gonna talk to you today. This 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 we need to. This is huge because we want to even get this. To- uh-huh. We want to get to the, into the coronavirus as well. All right. Absolutely, y'all. Hey, we got Dr. Hadir Nicole Green in the building, Alabama A&M graduate member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority <laughs> Incorporated. We're going to be talking to y'all. Uh, uh, Gary, Brett, this is groundbreaking. Yeah. I am so excited about this. Like, I, I, can't, I literally can't breathe. And uh, so, so, so you came up, uh, you came up with this. And you said God just gave it to you. Yes. And and because you was originally trying to to do cable, like what was that you were okay. saying? So I had all this training in physics, optics, lasers, 
And when my aunt and uncle went through this, I was like, how can I use my background in lasers and optics? Because I was planning this career in optical communications, and I was going to revolutionize the way we receive cable and internet. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, if a satellite in outer space can tell whether a dime on the ground is face up or face down, and if a cell phone can call anywhere on the planet and target one cell phone, even in a room full of people, why can we treat, why can't we treat cancer at the site of the tumor without it impacting the whole person and somebody's hair falling out? Unless you got cancer in your head, it didn't make sense to me why your hair would have to fall out. My background in physics is not the same as the training of a biologist or a chemist. And I said, this just doesn't make sense to me. There has to be a better way. So I dedicated my life to using the technology of satellites and cell phones to treat cancer. Right. So you in the lab. I'm in the lab. And you did what and how? Okay. So good question. I developed a new type of what's called a nanoparticle, which is a really, really tiny particle that's harmless until you shine a laser light on it. And then it heats up because of it vibrating really fast Mm -hmm. and it kills whatever it's touching. So the laser that I'm using is low power, like a laser pointer, but it's a small beam. And because it's localized, we can target it at just the site of the tumor. And we show complete elimination of tumors in laboratory mice after one treatment over the course of 15 days with no side effects, no chemo, no surgery, no radiation. Wow. Using technology. Eva, do you hear this? I'm like, wow. This is what happens when you couple black girl magic with STEM. Mm. Come on now. Come on now. And prayer and faith and divine assignment. So the the idea for this, I have to give God the glory. This was a divine inspiration. I can't take Mm. credit for it. Mm. So when people say, you know, oh, you gonna be Oprah rich, you can be a billionaire. This was not for me to be rich. This wasn't about me. My heart when I did this was so nobody else would have to suffer the way my family suffered. So I started a nonprofit to raise the money instead of taking money from investors so the technology could be affordable for my family. Oh, wow. man. For so my Dr. community. So, Dr. Green, I'm, this is Gary, and I'm a, a oh, cancer Gary. survivor. Oh, How we doing? Gary. <laughs> oh, Gary. I'm sending you so much love right now. Well, thank you oh. so much. <laughs> love <laughs> Gary. Everybody love Gary. When yeah. I heard your cancer story, it brought me to tears. And I know you don't want to be called strong, but I admire you for yeah. sharing your testimony and for coming to work every day in spite yeah. of what you were going through. Bless yes, you. Yes, most definitely. And, now, and that's what I was going to ask you now. So do you think there will ever be a cure for cancer, for one thing? And I'm also asking about, too, not you were saying about no radiation, no chem- uh, chemotherapy, which I went through both of them. Yes. Which my chemotherapy, my I wore my chemotherapy patch. Instead of me going, um, sitting in the um, clinic, getting the chemotherapy, they just gave me the, um, I wore the bag. You know, the um, little pad, yes. the little, um, yes. the, what you call it, little pouch thing or whatever. Right. I wore that every day, and the chemotherapy was just being infused, you know, as I was working every day and what have you. But now as for radiation, the radiation was interesting because I used to go to my doctor, and, and Ricky, you came with me. I went and with I you. said, And I said, oh, who are you cooking today? Because, <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, you know, radiation, yeah. honey, you know, it burns you. It was all right when you came out of there, but, it, like, later on, you could start to feel the, the effect. side effects. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if your radiation was localized to just the site of your tumor? Exactly. How much less you would have had to suffer. Yeah. yeah, I could imagine. That was what inspired me to develop something where people didn't have to suffer so much. Yeah. Wow. wow. So, Dr. Green, what is the next step? I know um, we're going to help out, and Ricky's definitely going to help spearhead oh, your you. efforts to help with funding. But what's the next step in this process for you? So, we are raising money to begin human trials. Is killing cancer and mice, we're doing that. We need to now start killing cancer in people. So right. we started the Ora Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation, named after my late aunt who raised me. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. And See? I said, if we can have a Susan G, we can have yep. Ora Lee. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. And, and you were saying since she was one years old, they've been raising money for uh, Susan. You know what? what like Right. And I'm 39 now. And so I do ask, money? where's the pink cure? 
Yeah, yeah, because I be, I walked a minute, Susan. Me um, too. And I walked for me. So, and so and listen, but listen to the, but listen to the question though. Where's the pink cure? And yeah. with the I, ribbon, I appreciate the awareness of right. early detection. Early detection saves lives. It right. really does. Right. If you get treated stage one, stage two, you have a ninety-five percent chance of surviving. Wow. But what happens when you get diagnosed in your stage four? And the doctors tell you there's nothing else we can do. People have been reaching out to me, thousands of people. Can you do to me what you did to that mouse? I'll be your human guinea pig. And we are literally turning patients away because we haven't raised the money to start human trials. We have to go through the FDA approval so that we can begin human trials and get adopted by the American Medical Association. So all these conspiracy theories, there is a protocol that we must follow. We have to get the approvals, and that costs money. Wow. And, and so we're doing this through the nonprofit so we can keep the technology affordable and accessible. Say that one more time. We are raising money through my nonprofit so we can keep and ensure that this technology will be affordable and accessible for all. Wow. For all. For all. Ooh, absolutely. Around the planet. Absolutely. Yes. Wow. They're nearly... 9 million people a year dying from cancer. So I'm not trying to compete with the pharmaceutical industry for the cancer patients they treat, help, and save. Like, bless you, Gary, for being a survivor. But what about the 9 million people who don't survive every year? Right, yeah. right. That's where my heart to help so, is. So where do we start? So people need to go to where? Oralee.org. O-R-A-L-E-E.org. And for all those texters out there, you can text Aura to 71777. So in the two box where you put your number, you can put 71777. And in the message, three letters, O-R-A. Listen, so we're going to put this on our, our website as well. And for everybody out there, uh, 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 my friend Fred, my friend Jeff Belzer, everybody that has lost. These are two of my high school classmates that lost their mother uh, to cancer, Jeff and Penelope Belzer and Fred Bendian. I need all of y'all, everybody that has lost loved ones like I have uh, mm. to cancer to in honor yes. of our loved ones. Uh, we, we gonna, we're going to invest into this uh, project for you. And, and because we all we got and we have to take care right. of each other. And this is a HBC. And it, 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 even if just not that, if you've graduated from a HBCU, you need to be the first one. This is a product of and we talk about HBCUs on this show every single day. If you are a church, we ask yes. we asking every single church to get involved, every single organization. We asking Delta Sigma Theta, the Divine Nine to get involved. We've asking KK Psi and Tau Beta Sigma and yes. Phi Mu Alpha and Delta Omicron, Crips, <laughs> Bloods, Vice Lords, yes. City yes. Workers, <laughs> Gang Members. I don't care what you are, Deacons, Deaconess. Right. We need everybody. Yes, all to, hands to, on deck. It, all of it. Yes. All of it. Let me tell you, I, I don't care if I have to bring you on this show every week Thank to let you. people know what you're doing. There's not going to be a one interview. We're going to keep pushing until we reach our goal. I'm with you on that. I stand behind you as a bruh. Thank you. The yes. cues are with you. Thank all the you. bros. Uh, I'm challenging every single member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated or whatever, active and non-active. <laughs> Yeah. Send some money. This is a Sarah. Yes. We got you. Uh, I, I, we, we with you. Thank you. So Dr. Give, Hydea, how can we uh, find you on social media? Because I would oh, like to follow you and stuff. You. And then yes. like repost whatever you post so we can thank get the information you. Oh, thank out you. there thank via you. social media. Because we have like millions of followers. So we want to put it out on yes. that platform as thank well. Thank you. Thank you. So my handle is at Dr. Hadia Green. And I'll spell okay. it at D R H A D I Y A H, green like the color. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, we appreciate you. I feel like I'm so smart. <laughs> right. You know so, what I mean? so Thank you'll be so back. Much. So this, this is not a one time interview. We're gonna have you back. I, I, I'm gonna work on all day getting you set up. Make give them give them the, uh, how they can hit you one more time. Oralee dot org. O R A L E E dot org. Or you can text Aura to seven one seven seven seven. You can follow us at Dr. Hadia Green 
and at We Are Aura Lee. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Hadil Nicole Green, y'all. Come on. Yes.